All right guys, so this is it. This is the LG G Stylo 2. So this is gonna be an unboxing and walkthrough of this device. So I just picked this up today and I'm pretty excited to do this review for you guys. So this is the box right here. So if you purchase this from Boost Mobile, this is the box that it does come in. As you can see there, LG Stylo 2. It's 4G LTE enabled. Let's just take a look around the box here. As you can see from the back, it's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, 5.7 inch HD IPS display. It does have the 13 megapixel rear camera, and the front facing camera is 5 megapixels. So let's go ahead and open up the packaging here. It just tells you some boost activation stuff right there. And on the right side, you do have your LG Stylo 2 nestled nicely in this box. So like I mentioned, this does have two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of ROM. It does have a 3000 milliamp battery. So it does say 25 hours of talk time and up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. So this is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 with 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. So let's go ahead and get the device out and let's unbox it. So, all right. So let's go ahead and tear this portion right off the box there. So pretty excited to get this device out and uh, take a look at it. So let's go ahead and remove it. And there is the LG Stylo 2 uh, package, very nice. And what comes in the box is your travel adapter. And you do got your USB data cable there and you do got in Spanish and English a get started guide so there's actually three uh, brochures in there so also you do have your large 3000 milliamp battery so it's pretty nice I'm glad they didn't decide to go uh, lower with the battery like they did with the LG Volt 2 so there you have it 3000 milliamps so let's go ahead and take a look at the LG Stylo here finally. And looks, wow, it looks pretty nice. Okay, so it does have this raised uh, curve display, as you can see there up on top. So it is raised, so that looks, it looks nice. It looks okay that it's raised like that. You got this kind of metallic trim going around. They did go ahead and put the headphone jack on the bottom of the device. Mic charging port is on the bottom as well. And of course you do got that four hole speaker port on the back of the device. Your 13 megapixel camera, uh, flash, volume up, power, volume down button, LG branding on the back there. And yes, they did remove the laser autofocus, but at least they did not seal the back end. So the back is removable, which gives you access to your micro SD card and your nano SIM. So at least we still got expandable storage and a swappable battery. So let's go ahead and get the battery on. Let's put the back back on and let's power this LG Stylo on here. So just hold down the back power button and let's go ahead and remove this screen protector. So there we have it, LG, life's good. So it's gonna boot up. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass this whole setup so we can go straight to the walkthrough of this device. So I already set it up, so I want to walk you guys through this device. So here we have the pre-installed widgets, which all look pretty basic. The widgets here basically um, look very familiar. They just look like the same widgets on the LG Stylo 1, but there you have it. At least you get to see what the widgets look like there. And let's go to um, some home screen settings here. So you got home and easy home. And let's go ahead and check out the pre-installed wallpapers that come on the LG Stylo 2. And actually they all look really nice. I really like all these uh, wallpapers. So um, they're pretty nice looking. Uh, pretty vibrant so you do get a variety of pre-installed wallpapers there and you do get the uh, screen swipe effect so and you also get LG theme there which is pretty nice so let's go ahead and back out out of there and let's go ahead and check out the dialer which looks very basic and let's go ahead and 
check out the messaging here and of course I always like to add this when I do unboxings or reviews if it does come with emojis and yes it does it has a whole lot of emojis so there we have it I'll just kind of scroll and show you the different ones they have there so again remember this is just a walkthrough of this device so it's not the full review so let's go ahead and jump to camera here and I will go ahead and show you some of the settings that it does have there so you can kinda get an idea you still got the gesture shot which is nice and um, panorama mode um, cheese shutter voice so you do have that as well and you also got these pre-installed Google uh, applications as well and the Google drawer is still customizable so you can change the name change the color which is pretty nice there so I noticed there is uh, no, no option to customize these uh, applications on your home screen like the original stylo where you held down and you're able to uh, customize them you don't have that option either so you do got this tools folder there as well and you do got this management folder also and I should mention there is no app drawer so it's only like the home screen so if you want an app drawer you're gonna have to uh, download a third-party launcher you are able to change your home screen buttons there and you also are able to customize and edit this notification panel there let's go ahead and jump to settings here uh, real quick and and you do have a lot of options here in settings from network, sound, display, general. So you got quick cover view, uh, dual window, um, change the uh, font size, and uh, auto rotate screen, screen timeout, um, accessibility, uh, shortcut key for your back buttons there. Um, so quite a bit of options there and let's go ahead and jump to the Android software which is 6.0.1 marshmallow out of the box so that's pretty nice so I'm going to just skip this whole uh, game here Hey, you do got the knock feature there to wake your device or put your device to sleep got that nice screen uh, animation when you unlock your device as well and of course let's jump to the stylus because this is probably the main feature of this device and what we all were wondering what has changed with the stylus so first of all let me go ahead and show you this this is what is called screen off memo so you're able to write memos while the screen is off so you can either enable this feature or you can disable it um, I played with it for a little while and I gotta say I really enjoy this feature I like this feature um, it works pretty well um, the stylus works uh, very good uh, it's smooth on the display um, it's pretty nice using it and again you can save this to gallery or uh, whichever you like to do with it and of course when you pull out the stylus now you do get this pop-up feature that occurs which is I like it um, you got pop memo capture plus pop scanner uh, quick memo plus and you can actually customize this to your likings um, so this was just an unboxing and a quick walkthrough of the LG Stylo 2. So stay tuned for my full review and comparison with the original LG Stylo. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe for more future videos. This is Paul Tech and I'll talk to you on the next one.